Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Sony ZV-1 as your main camera in OBS. I've got a complete walkthrough, so your video streams are going to look insanely good. And also, I'm going to show you how to set up an external microphone with the Sony ZV-1 all in OBS. And then the big thing that causes so many problems for people, how to fix the audio delay. So when your audio and video aren't in sync, I've got a fix for all of that. And here's the thing. These things are really, really easy to do. So let's get into it. My name is Vic Barry, and this channel is all about filmmaking and video techniques, tips and thoughts. So if you find this useful, please consider hitting subscribe and giving me the thumbs up. I'm thrilled to say as well, by the way, that this video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound, who have an incredible selection of copyright free music and sound effects for you to use in your video creations. And maybe you're just looking for the stream about to start music. You can get it on Epidemic Sound and you can get yourself a free trial free sound effects and free music to keep and to use by clicking the link in the description. First step is that you need to download the Sony Imaging Edge webcam app. Once you get that installed, set up your camera. I'm just putting this on a little selfie stick here. And then we're gonna plug in this via this and turn on OBS. And that's where we're gonna get into the walkthrough. In fact, let's switch through to the walkthrough now, Sony ZV-1 is connected to a computer and it's plugged in and I'm looking at it right now. And once we're in OBS, you're going to have a scene by default. If you don't have any scenes, but you will, but just in case you don't, you can hit the plus one here and create a scene. But I've got one here already. So I'm just going to add a source and to add the Sony ZV-1 to OBS, it's always going to be in the sources here in the scene. So I'm going to select plus. I'm going to click video capture device and it's always going to be video capture device. Let's hit that. And I'm just going to call this Sony ZV-1, but you can call it whatever you want. Make sure Make Source Visible is ticked. Click OK. And now we've got a couple of options here. So we have the webcam, we have OBS camera, which you can forget about. And then, because you install the Imaging Edge webcam app, you've got Sony camera. Let's hit that. This is going to pop up. Let's select OK. And then, boom. <laughs> We're perfectly in time. You have the actual camera. As you can see, it's not exactly full screen. So we can just drag this out here and we can make it full screen or you can resize it whatever way you want. By the way, quick tip, and I've only just discovered this, do not press record on the Sony ZV-1 when it's connected via USB to OBS if you're streaming because you're gonna get some serious lag. But other than that, Another thing to keep in mind here is that you are going to need a microphone when you're streaming with the Sony ZV-1 if you're using the USB connection because uh, USB doesn't carry audio for the Sony ZV-1. So to add a mic into OBS, very simple. Again, in our sources here, select audio input capture, hit that, select OK. And then I'm going to select this one here. I'm going to press OK. And to be honest, you are better off using an external mic because the Sony ZV-1's got a good little mic, but for something like streaming, it's not gonna work. So that's why you would use something like this or maybe a headset mic or, or whatever you've got, basically. Alternatively, you can add the mic directly to the Sony ZV-1 source in OBS. And all you gotta do is hit the settings cog here, click properties. And if we scroll down, we're gonna see use custom audio device and then select whichever mic that you've got set up. Then hit OK, and you're good to go. When you are using an external mic, invariably there is probably gonna be some lag between the microphone and the video signal. You can adjust the audio delay again in OBS. Everybody's system is gonna be slightly different. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, and then you've gotta fiddle around with it yourself to get it. Mm. Let's make sure we're on audio input capture down here. Let's click the settings cog. Let's click advanced audio properties. And then we have a sync offset. So we can turn this or we can turn it down. And the more you turn it up or turn it down, basically increase the milliseconds, the more the delay is gonna get or the less the delay is gonna get and you can sync up perfectly. So you are probably gonna to have to put on the headphones for that and monitor the audio to figure it out a little bit. But basically that is how you are gonna sync up your audio perfectly. If you want to see another amazing video about the Sony ZV-1, check it up there or maybe there. Yeah, let's let's go here. See you on the next episode of the vlog. And until then, don't stop fighting for yourself.